people lacking correct spiritual knowledge are confused they can even say that i do not believe in bible then what do they believe they believe these four pious books pious torat pious injil pious jabur pious quran sharif or call it quran majid they believe these no one can deny them first i will prove amongst three pious books quran sharif is separate pious torat pious angel pious jabur collectively is the bible do not be misled due to some ignorant person here first i will show you them only and we will compare that holy bible exactly their collection not even a word is different this is asmani books torat jabur and injil from where are they published from bsi 206 mahatma gandhi road bangalore look here yahan dekhiye ga asmani kitabe torat jabur injil urdu devnagari script ov we will see here published by bsi 206 mahatma gandhi road bangalore 56001 brilliant printers private limited bangalore 94 here are all three books all three books torat jabur injil we will move ahead in this book torat starts from here and there is a chapter named genesis we come here aur hum yahan aa jaate this is genesis till 1124 is on this page god created the earth and the sky in starting look here it was evening then morning and this was the first day then the second day then the third day here the third day then the fourth day then the fifth day we will read on the sixth day here we come on genesis 125 to 12 on page number 3 verse number 26 then shlok padhe god said that god created what was to be created in 5 days then god said i will make humans like my self and god made humans like his own self created humans as male and female look then god said i will make humans like myself similar to own self and humans will have authority over fishes and sea birds and sky four legged animals and other animals who crawl on earth means humans should be wiser and god made humans like his own self god created humans like his own self he created them as male and female by souls i will show you more allah who is the creator of universe god who created entire universe in 6 days sat on the throne on 7th day he is complete god he is the almighty he is allahu akbar allah kabir he did not order neither the animals and birds nor human to eat flesh see we read page number 28 now see at 29 and he blessed them all to flourish and grow and fill earth and have authority on fishes 
in sea, birds in sky and all other animals who crawl on earth means do not eat them. Look further, I give you all seeds of vegetables and fruits on this earth for you to eat. For all animals on this earth, all birds in sky and who crawl on earth, who are living beings, I give green herbs and this happened and God looked at his creation and said, very good. Then it was evening, then morning. This was the sixth day. Now it's proved. I showed you all three pious books exactly the same. Description is here in pious Bible. Because those who lack correct knowledge and who fool masses manipulate facts and say so and so book is wrong we do not believe that this slave will resolve all this and will leave no option for them to misguide anyone now i will show you same content in bible as it is which i showed you in pious torah look this is holy bible Sampoon Jeevan Adhyan Pious Bible. This is Pious Bible, Sampoon Jeevan Adhyan Bible. From where is this published? Look here. General Editor Donald C. Stamps, MA MDiv, Associate Editor J. Wesley Adams, PhD. Life Publishers International, International Springfield, Missouri, USA, printed in India. Here I will show you. This is Holy Bible, Sampoon Jeevan Adhyan Bible. Editor is David Stewards. English editor Donald C. Stamps. MAM Dev Associate. Editor is J. Wesley Adams, PhD, Editorial Committee, all this is written, all same. From where is it published? All same, it's published from Full Life Study Bible, Life Publishers International, Springfield, Missouri, 65803, USA. We come to Genesis, right from starting, See, this is Genesis. It starts here. In starting, God created the sky and the earth. They have simplified it. This is how it was the first day. It's evening, then morning. This was the first day. Then evening, then morning. This was the second day day it's evening then morning this was the third day god did some creations here see we are reading on page number four it's evening then morning this was the fourth day we come here on page number five we are reading genesis it's evening then morning this was the fifth day now we come on the sixth day then God said, I will make humans like me and they would have authority on fishes and sea, birds and sky, cattle and all other animals who crawl on earth means humans will be wiser than them and not to eat them, someone might misunderstand this. Then God created humans like His own self. Almighty created humans like His own self, created humans as male and female. So, pious souls, how is God like a man in human form like us that God created humans like His own self? So, how is God? He is in a form. He is in a man form. Is bodily. 
His name is Kabir. We will prove this later. Pious souls, whole world is misguided. Those who study pious Bible, all Christians believe God is formless, but what does Bible say? That He is in form. And to know all religions, we should only reference their holy books and not what people of that religion say and what do they worship. It should not be taken into consideration, else what was the need of religious books that we had considered to be containing superior knowledge all this while, so we will consider that knowledge as base and accept this slave, no one else in the world could make it clear. Do not think that this slave is arrogant. Do not think that this slave has pride. This is the mercy of God, Allahu Akbar, on this slave that Almighty has sent this slave for this work. Now I will make it clear that the one who created the entire universe, that Allah Akbar, that Allah Kabir, the complete God, did not order anyone to eat flesh, neither to animals or birds, nor to the humans, no one. See this, we are reading pious Bible, Genesis. Then God said, I will make humans like me. And they would have authority in fishes and sea, birds and sky, cattle and all other animals who crawl on earth on 27. It is said, then God created humans like his own self. Almighty created humans like his own self. He created humans as male and female, hence proved. God is in man form. Almighty is in human form. So, past souls, further we will see that he did not order to anyone to eat flesh. Look, we read in 28, and blessed them to flourish and grow, means spread over the whole earth and have control on it means spread over the whole earth and to have authority over fishes and sea, birds and sky and all other animals who crawl on earth having authority on them doesn't mean to kill them and eat them. Like you bring a cow or buffalo from a jungle, you drink their milk, so drink milk. Why do you eat their flesh? Is it good to eat flesh? And this is not the order of God. This is not the order of the Almighty, Allahu Akbar. Look. Then God said, Listen, I give you all small seeded plants on earth and all seeded fruits in the tree for you to eat for whom? for humans. Look, we read verse number 29 and what is said in verse number 30, God, Allah Akbar, gave small green plants for all to eat, for animals of earth, for birds in sky and all other animals who crawl on earth, who have life and same happened. Then God saw all his creation and realized that it's all very good. Then it's evening, then morning. This was the sixth day. This is how the creation of everything between the sky and earth was finished and God finished all his work on seventh day. He got free from all his work on seventh day and God blessed the seventh day and declared it sacred because he took rest on that day from his creation. So, pious souls, with this it is clear, no creature has the order to eat flesh 